What's up folks, I'm Greenbeef and in this video we're going to talk about the big changes in Space Haven Alpha 10 to include tech trees, a galaxy map rework, the addition of space stations, combat changes, and tweaks to food production and consumption. I haven't done one of these in a while. The new tech tree limits access to advanced facilities and furniture in the early game, creating another vector for progression. Let's look at this new tech tree by clicking this beaker button on the top left. By default, fabrics and basic begin unlocked and you must research each individual technology by clicking the research button. Now you need to generate basic, intermediate, and advanced research points. To gain research points, build a research station and set one of your crew members with research skill to some priority other than the lowest. New low-tech facilities replace the more efficient ones in the early game, which consume raw crystals instead of processed energy rods and hyperfuel. The linear galaxy map is no more. Behold, the procedurally generated node-based lattice. Star system clusters are grouped by primary faction control, or lack thereof, and are comprised of multiple systems in those clusters. You'll note one new faction, the aliens, and we'll experience that one together in my next series. For combat changes, shotguns and SMGs were nerfed a bit, a missile turret was added to blow holes in your opponent's hull, and a jammer system was added to prevent ships from firing while it's powered and active. That should make for some pretty interesting boarding actions. Space stations, just like the abandoned mining station start, now you'll encounter faction run or derelict space stations within sectors annotated by this icon. You can trade with these stations like you would any other ship, or board them and take all their goodies. However, don't think you can just fire at it easily, as they tend to have an active jammer. On friendly stations, you have a chance to get construction services or even recruit crew members for money. Food has received quite the overhaul. Crew members now need a balanced diet based on protein, fat, and carbohydrates, and you get to set the composition of their prepared meals in the kitchen facility. Also, algae growers, which run off power and biomatter, provide a low-grade food source that keep your crew from croaking. To get a quick start in Alpha 10, you can follow the tooltips, but here's what you need to get out of the first sector. About 30 to 40 hull blocks for the ship's hull, an airlock, a tools facility, a thermal regulator, a gas scrubber, oxygen generator, an energium power generator, a wall or in-floor power node, a kitchen, an algae dispenser, small storage or large storage, a shuttle hanger, a pod hanger, or hot banger if you're solid content, a Hyperium hyperdrive, a hole stabilizer, a navigation console, an X1 toilet, a research lab, and a bed, or a few more. In total, you'll need seven hole blocks for facilities, plus the 30 to 40 hole blocks for your ship's construction, 31 infra blocks for facilities, and 11 more infra blocks to make the 535 tools you'll need, 14 tech blocks, four energy blocks, and five soft blocks. That's about it. It's an exciting patch, and I'm going to jump back into it once it comes out of Experimental Branch later this month. Thanks for joining me, folks. Take it easy.